Virginia. I was thinking that there is this idea out there that women that do what I do falls into the category of thoughtism. She's a thought. What was that? Uh, that girl Summer. I don't know. But she falls into the category of a thought. And she's a whole. What is a whole? What exactly is a whole? Is a whole a person that's having sex? What is the fuck is a whole? But nonetheless, it's an idea out there that the person that does what I do, make adult videos, is ratchet. She's ghetto. Hood. And I, I, where did this come from? I'm just not sure where it originated at. Because I, I, I know that there are women, females, ladies, for lack of better terms, that are out there and they have on these, I don't know what you want to call it, these fits, outfits, and... This facial expression on my face is is it's automatic when I see something like that. I mean ashy heels uh fishnet ass boobs hair just look like someone just sat it on top no fucking lace no it's just setting up there sitting up there like uh, just like uh, and it's not it's stringy it's not combed it's and they're doing some type of dance movement. And uh, for me, it's nothing appealing for me to it at all. Yes, I would say that I see a lot of things that I consider ratchet. Just say it, Lynn. Don't, girl, get that out there. Just ratchet. Nothing classy about it. Uh, for me, that's just, 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 just the way I, 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 no. And it makes you. It makes me say, why? But now, what I'm doing in making the sexy erotic sensual videos which I love to do like I said on my other videos with Terrence he just like seemed to try to avoid doing making beautiful videos for me uh, but I've always wanted to because of my sexual awakening sex is beautiful sex is something that they folk out there having it that's from the pulpit to the back door from the front door to the uh, outhouse from the uh, principal to the president from the good girls to the girls going wild uh, from the 
organist to the deacons to the evangelists to the pastors to teachers preachers coaches counselors having sex from the ones that wear their dresses up to their ass like I do to the ones that's wearing their dresses down to the ground like I used to uh, from the ones that have their hair shaven to the ones that have their hair also long and up in a bun bun motherfuckers having sex they're having sex and um, so you got people that are frowning at Lynn Little John when they pay to go to a movie. See motherfuckers in the bed having sex. Just dog, just all of it, doggy style, all of it. And uh, you pay to go see that. It's my side hustle. But I love to make the videos and be a man's feel good source, a woman's feel good source, it don't matter to me. And uh, they can look at my videos and just feel good. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. And I'm getting a thrill out of doing it. Now, these custom videos, they uh, can be somewhat challenging. But that's okay because I got my daughter involved now, so she's going to be helping me and assisting me in making the videos because the last video I made, she is producing it. Mama, on every video you make, make sure, Mama, that you need to, not Mama. My daughter, every picture that's in the pastor's ex-wife, the cover, all of it, my daughter, took those pictures so she said mama call me we gotta do she's now she's saying we because they're buying the, the uh, videos for $100 $100 ain't shit to some men those are the ones that I need to talk to I don't need to talk to can I give you 10 although I do sell my pictures now for $10 a picture I gotta get that approved to my daughter but anyway I've been selling them for ten dollars a picture but nonetheless i've sold one of that thankfully you know motherfuckers ain't trying to really get pictures no and then i sold a pack of pictures you get usually get ten you usually get one for ten dollars or eight for fifty dollars and i had someone to uh pay the fifty dollars and i sent them all the pictures because what had happened was i posted pictures with hearts over my titties and uh, hearts over my boobs and and and, and my uh, my coochie and um, they wanted to see the pictures without the hearts and they paid fifty dollars to do that it's fine with me uh, my daughter did say mama just make sure that anything you put out if it did come out you wouldn't be you'd be like whatever you know motherfuckers said they wouldn't share it but they did. I know who exactly did it, you know. I had one guy, he kept saying, you know, I sent I sent the hundred dollars, did you get it? As if I'm just gonna say okay and send him the shit. Where is it? Nigga, no, where is it? And then then I guess it shocked him when I said, Where's the receipt? Cause I could check that out my own damn self. And he just kept, okay, I'll, I'll send that to you. And just kept, I don't have time for that. And so I'm trying to run a business. I'm only communicating with you because you are trying to, I don't know if I want to say support my business, but buy my product. And uh, got me constantly, did you see all that? Like I'm c coming after you, begging you for some shit. I'm not begging nobody for shit. And so I just stopped communicating with him. And, um, he hit me today he's talking about did you make the video uh you know he wants he wants a video a custom made video so he asked me did you make the video doing whatever and i said i just responded how are you happy new year and i just responded i said i don't trust you as a man you don't do what you 
say that you're gonna do so if you want a video you will pay for the video and I'll create the video and then I put no worries in other words they ain't no ain't no way nothing off my back nothing um, I've had I have people that are I have clients now that are buying my videos over and over I'm going to eventually get into other stuff um, gotta figure shit out but I'm gonna eventually get into other stuff but for right now this works back to what I was saying uh, you can't afford the hundred dollars then okay go you know there's, there's all kind of stuff out there but there are motherfuckers out there that want to interact see talk to Lynn Little John me and I want to talk to you too and so ain't nothing send a hundred dollars I had somebody over the holiday send 500 in one day for five videos for one, one day right back to back I got all that back to back to back to back one right after here's another I woke up the next morning here's another hundred I what the fuck and and I'm like yo my nigga he can be my sugar daddy shit but uh, uh yeah I can't mind making you feel good that shit is exhilarating to me you 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 you, you, you de I ain't desperate for shit I don't need no ring I'm not looking for no man to uh, be booed up with because this man I got taking care of me now when I with him behind closed doors we get booed up that's all that matters to me that's all get done see you later have a great day I go about my life you going about yours that's what laying little John that's what I got going on and then I also wanted to say that mother, motherfuckers is crazy. And, and, and I'm just saying that niggas is crazy because, you know, uh, if, I don't know if you all know Jess Hilarious and Country Wayne. They look so cute together. The pictures are so cute. So they broke up. And uh, then they made a video a year or so later, you know, made a little short video, which got millions of views. And my thing is destroy a relationship because ain't no rings exchange that foolish just I don't mean I don't want no part of no shit anyway but motherfuckers can't even break up and still remain friends you know what I mean you can't even I don't have nothing to do with you I'm free get your ass free be free I'm, I'm good with that cause you can bet for damn sure I lived too many fucking years of my life trying to be a piece of the puzzle that just don't fit fuck ya Take your ass on. I could have emotions, feelings wrapped up in something. You ain't got to tell me but one time that you got to separate yourself from me. You tell me one time. What, what the fuck am I going to do? Please don't have that. I don't want to do. When, I, when Terrence left, see, the other guy, I've not mentioned his name since I brought my ass, my motherfucking ass back from Philadelphia. I haven't mentioned his name. But, um, had me taking my shit off of my page. Now I can't find the shit. But anyway, I made a video after Terrence and I broke up and that shit was real. And I, I, I simulated me crying and he leaving anyway. I'm not doing that shit no more. Here's that, it's me. I am her, the one and only pastor's ex-wife. 